what is up you guys it is me tanisha and i am back with another love me hair video this wig is the breathable deep wave 4x4 glueless wig i did get this wig in 26 inches and as you can see here i pulled this straight out of the box so everything you see here is exactly how yours will look coming out of the box the curls the lace the construction of the wig everything in this video i decided that i did not want to go ahead and customize this wig for those of you who just don't feel like doing it or can't do it at all and don't want to try i promise you guys this is one of those ready to wear hairstyles switching it up is everything and this makes it so much easier especially with the construction of this cap when you put this wig on, make sure that your ear taps are comfortably above your ears so that the whole process will go smoothly. And look at those curls. Y'all see me doing my little happy dance. I could have wore it like this, but I didn't. What you see me doing here is starting to brush the original curls out. That way, when I get ready to spray it with my water, it won't be as hard to detangle. Never start brushing your curls at the top because that's what causes knots and pulling and we don't want any hair pulling from our lace or our wig period. So always start brushing your hair from the bottom. If you like this big look, which I probably would wear this with something where I'm out on the town or something out of town, something. This would be a cute look for that and it looks so natural but we're not gonna do it that way and i'm still showing you guys that this is glueless and y'all check out the point that i do not have on a wig cap and it still looked like it was giving a little bit of scalp but this is how the hair looks completely brushed out you get those curls and the waves and everything this is not glue or anything this is just so that i make sure my edges lay this is nairobi styling foam I just want my edges to lay a certain way so with that I'm going to put that foam on there and tie it down with my elastic band just so that I get a little bit more security in what I'm about to do next and lay those edges as I said before. So here I'm just spraying it with water. I promise you, you guys, this is not a product. It was an empty bottle. I filled it with water. This is strictly water, no styling foams, no extra, nothing. Just plain water out of a bottle. Um, I wanted to go ahead and spray that. I didn't want to dip it because it'll be too wet. And if you're in a rush, you don't have time to soak your whole entire wig and then put it back on. So spraying it with water and brushing it with a wide toothbrush or wide bristle brush helps it get the maximum potential from your curls. That way it does not pull your curls too, too much. I should have used my dimming brush, but I left that at my shop. So I had to use the next best thing, which is that brush there. Um, Fully saturate your wigs as you're brushing it. I make sure that every strand is at least moist. If not wet wet, at least it's a little moist so that it turns out like this and it doesn't take forever to dry. But get into those curls. It's a totally different curl from what you see when you get it out of that box. And it's perfect. You wouldn't even be, you can't even be mad at that. So here you see me trying to take my elastic band off and it did the job. It made sure that the hair was laid in the front exactly how I wanted it. But get into those curls and look how glossy it looks. And I promise you, I promise you guys, it's only water in that bottle. But this is the difference between wet and dry. This is how long it is when it's wet. And again, this is a 20 cents inch curl. Now we all know the routine, cut the lace cut the lace cut it as close as you can to your hairline without cutting into your hair so in this part you will see me 
cut some of it off and then have to go back in and cut a little bit more because I'm trying to get as close to my hairline as I can. But look at the lace. Get into it. You do not have to do a whole, whole lot to this lace at all. So I'm going back in with my Nairobi foam and laying the parts that I messed up while I was cutting it to just ensure that things are laying the way that I want them to lay. And again, I'm going to go in with my elastic band, tie that down for a few and finish wetting the other side of my hair. And this is the result. Get into this look. It's giving island girl. It's giving foreign exotic. I'm really, really, really feeling this curl. This looks like I'm ready to go to Cancun or to somebody's island to just sit there. Look at, oh my goodness, get into it. I'm guessing it, but it's worth it. <laughs> it's giving full, it's giving body, it's giving everything you would want in a curly hair wig. Now, get into that that part is what i was really happy about y'all see my dance i was hype and again it's still glueless that is the best part about this whole process is it being glueless you can take it off put it back on and it still looks good Whew, i don't i don't know what else to say like i don't know what else to say but go get it go get this wig go go run to my description box get this wig Look at there, glueless. And even with the mid part that you see here, you can also offset your part a little bit to the side. You can't go too far to the side as if you would with a 13 by four or a five by five, but you definitely still get enough room to go to the side a little bit. But get into that, get into it what is up you guys welcome back to my channel it is me tanisha hey girl hey i have already given you the details on this hair but let me go into the detail details when i tell you guys this hair is soft like it is so so soft it is so pretty the curls are everything these curls are a curl that is not too loose but not too tight it's giving exactly what it's supposed to give especially for a cute summertime beachy look I, i'm really 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 digging that also it's glueless like glueless completely glueless you don't need nothing i didn't even put on a wig cap with this one you guys like i didn't need a wig cap i don't need any glue i don't need any of that I just put my wig on and go about my business. Put on and go. That's that's all you need to know. Put on and go. Switching it up is so simple with these put on and go wigs. Like even if I wanted to style it up, let me see if I can find one. I wanted to just like pin it because it's too hot outside. I could do that and it still is giving a natural look. You can't beat it. You cannot be like y'all get it and look at the curls like look at how these curls look so oh, i'm just i'm so impressed like even in the back when i pin it up you still can't tell you still can't tell it's a wig i i just can't go get the wig go get it asap Y'all know y'all got y'all's vacations coming up. You have your family reunions, whatever. Get her. This is a perfect summer wig to just put on and go. And I did y'all a favor because this time I didn't wash my wig before I showed it to y'all. So all of this is how it looks straight out of the box. No bleaching, no plucking, no none of that. This is straight out of the box look. I just sprayed it with my water. 
brushed it out with my brush and kept it moving. So, if this sounds ideal for you, make sure you go to my description link at the bottom of this page somewhere. Click the link, it'll take you straight to it. I promise you, you will not regret your purchase. And when you get ready to purchase, make sure you put in your coupon code, Tanishia. That is T-A-N-I-S-H-I-A. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.